question is about the different um, versions of Sam you played. There were, were a lot. Um, which one was the most challenging one, and which one was the most fun one to play? It's kind of the same answer. Um, I think I think the most fun one still, and I thought about it, uh, was Soul of Sam. And that was the most daunting for me to try and figure out what I was going to do, because it had never been done on the show, and I was like, uh. The most challenging was uh, Ezekiel, was Gabriel Ezekiel, because I had to do transitions within a scene. You know, Soul of Sam was Soul from action to cut, whereas when I was Sam, and then he bust into angel form, it, it, it was just something different that I hadn't really done, I didn't know how it was going to happen and I, you know, I hadn't seen the visual effects yet to, to know that I'd have some help uh, with the eyes changing. You didn't need the help. Well, thank you, yeah, but it was good to have it. Uh, I was happy, I was like, okay, cool, now it's clear, like, now this is not Sam speaking. Uh, that was a lot of fun, too, in the end. Um, but yeah, so I think Gabriel was the most difficult and Solus was the most fun. What do you think? What, was, what do you think was the most fun to watch? The most fun to watch? Um, I love Justin Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. That was a lot of fun, actually, film. So, yeah, that was a good time. And also, Gary Sam was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, that was a lot of fun, but uh, thank you so much. Hi. Hi. Um, I have a comment and a question. Um, so, the comment yesterday, you uh, someone asked about when when you've been anxious on the supernatural side, and you said during the French mistake because you weren't confident about your comedy, because man, you're great at that. So I just want to catch up. I'm not going to tell you what Greg Rogers said in his panel about the Winchesters. He, um, he used to do a model, and he said specifically for comedy scenes, he thinks to himself, what would Jared do? How much would that be? I want to pass that on. Yeah. That's me. And by the way, he's dying to be on your Walker shows. He's been a little busy. So I just want to pass those on. Um, I've been loving Walker Independence, and I'm a little terrified about uh, the CW. They seem to have lost their minds about scripted TV. So I just want to ask you, um, do you have any any intel you can tell us about um, is the CW going to continue with scripted TV? And if not, do you have like alternate plans of other platforms you could use? Uh, great question, thank you. Um, I also love Independence, and long story short, I don't know, you know? I mean, um, CW, the, the new leadership has announced that it's kind of changing directions. We don't know what that direction will be. Um, I, I've been proud to be with CW since day one. You know, Jensen and I predated CW on Supernatural and, you know, Smallville and Game Rules and this and that. Uh, and so it's been an honor to call the CW my home for the last, God, it was 2006, I think, so 17 years. Um, and, you know, it's, it's I, if I was born a couple hundred years ago, I, I'm the court jester, you know, but I make the king laugh off of his head. So I'm, I'm grateful to have been able to live the life I live, meet the friends I've met, and travel the places I've traveled by playing pretend, you know, like it's a, it's a, it's a blessing I, 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 I'm grateful for every day. Um, so if, if the CW does go a different direction and thinks it's no longer the home for a show like Walker or Walker Independence or whatever, then we, we, we do have other options. Um, yeah, but that's up to the CW. It'd be an honor to, to keep Comic Con, you know? I mean, I, I think I've, since Jensen and the boys went on, I, I'm, I think I'm the only, no, I know I'm the only person who's been number one on the call sheet of a CW show every time there's a new episode airing every week for 17 years. And so I, I'd love that to carry on. It'd be an honor. And I've talked with some of the new people at CW, and I obviously talk with my longtime friends who are no longer at the CW, and they, to a person, you know, the, the people who replaced us, they're wonderful and kind, and they really want this to work, and they want it to be profitable so it makes sense, so they're not just spending money and this and that. Uh, but that's just one of those things. Uh, it is anxiety-inducing, but whatever happens, happens. And I'll still come back to Rome uh, as much as I can, no matter what happens. <laughs> Y'all can't see what I can see, but everybody on this side who walks up, when they're in the shade, 
they're kind of like smiling and happy, and as soon as they get into the line, they're like, oh. <laughs> it's like a, like a werewolf transition. You know? <laughs> Sorry, it's so bright. Doing <laughs> Hi, Jared. My name's Sue. It's not my first time. <laughs> no. um, I love your answers to that last wind, windy question. Good. Nice. Um, it was just a quick one about season three. Um, <laughs> <laughs> a quick one about them, season three of Supernatural. Cast your mind back against the Christmas episode. Yeah. Why are you having a quick thing? I just want to say, how's it going with Steve Cobra and his niece and, and getting their registrations for that? I'm not sure. I think she's still waiting, but you yeah. know, we're going for the best. Oh, nice. Yeah. The family. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh, anyway. Yeah, thank you for asking. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a supernatural Christmas. Um, I remember the bit uh, where you spied Jensen's eggnog and, and he just carried on going. I'm just thinking, I've just seen that episode of the rewatch, and there must be a lot of wonderful memories of that. I want to, I know it's a bit of an ask. Anything you can, that comes to mind that you can share about it? About the eggnog scene? Not that in particular, that um, episode. I mean, yeah, I think like you, had the, you had the young Sam as well, and also this. Yeah, it was, I, I loved the episode, and I remember filming it. I remember filming that scene. Uh, and I don't know, do y'all all know the eggnog story? Yeah. 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 So somebody, I can't say who legally, somebody may have spiked it. And not spiked it, but basically made it mostly not eggnog. But, uh, <laughs> so Jensen's reaction on camera is, is Jensen going, you idiot. <laughs> to whoever did. <laughs> Can I confirm more than I? Yeah, we had a great time. I think we shot it, because uh, it aired around Christmas. We shot it for Christmas, so I think it, I think we shot it like around October. And I don't know if a lot of y'all have been in Vancouver, but possibly my favorite time of the year in any city I've ever been to is around October in Vancouver. The, it starts to get into fall, and there's a smell in the air, and the city's so beautiful. And so it felt kind of Christmassy, because it was cooler, uh, and it's kind of like this great holiday feeling uh, while shooting, which doesn't happen often. Usually you're like, oh, we're shooting the Valentine's Day episode, and it's December, or you're shooting a Halloween episode, and it's July. Uh, so that was nice. I think our Halloween episode was in July, um, with Sam and it was filmed in July. Uh, but we had a good time, and I think we, we season three was a strange uh, time as well for us, because uh, you know, we were starting to introduce characters that didn't ultimately say, well, one character stay, but in a different body. Um, one that, I, I, that's going to sound... <laughs> I realized how that's going to sound before I said it, so... Um, but, yeah, so we, it, it was a different... It felt markedly different than seasons one and two. And it was nice. It felt like we were finding our group. Seasons one, season one, I think we've been clear, we didn't really know what the show was going to be in. And season two, they kind of added some characters, and we still were trying to figure out what's working, what's not, what, uh, where, where we're going to go with the show, if the show keeps going. By season three, I think we felt, there's a few things that happened in that, in that third season, or back in the day, at least before streamers and stuff. And you kind of go, if a show has gone for three seasons, and it's, it's staying strong, then it makes sense that it'll go for a fourth. And stay strong, go for fifth. And so there was a, a feeling of confidence um, that we could go like, all right, well, we must be doing something right, and hopefully they want us to keep doing it. So it was a good time on. There'll be two bubbles over there, seasons one and two, they're really sound. No, they weren't. Fantastic. Oh, uh, yeah, I totally agree. Um, some of my favorite episodes were in those seasons. But I just mean the feeling behind it. the the Jared and Jensen feeling as opposed to the Sam and Dean and how it worked. And there were some great episodes, as you said. Yeah, thanks a bunch. Thank you. Right. I you uh, again, love y'all. Thank y'all so much. I'm getting dragged into somewhere. But... <laughs>